Good day and welcome to our end-to-end -end To our end-to-end -end explanation and demonstration of how to set up uh, 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 Office 365 OME, better known as Office 365 Message Encryption, which basically means how to encrypt all of your email through Office 365. So uh, we're going to explain the uh, PowerShell that you need to use it. We're going to explain the commands you need to, to set it up. We're going to demonstrate it and we're going to brand it. Uh, so we're gonna do the whole thing. It's all quite quick. It's not near as challenging as you might think. So let's do a very quick overview first. And I mean, very quick. So as it says here, it's just message encryption. And the big thing for most people that'll be watching this video is that you don't need to have a certificate. You're basically using Microsoft certificates. And that's the, that's the most important part. It's so much simpler to set up than any sort of encryption you will have set up in the past. So you can read through this if you want. I'll scroll down, you can press pause and read it if you want. But basically, you know, that's that. Now, something to note is that the uh, there's an old version of OME and a new version of OME. So we're talking about the new version because this was changed, yeah, about a year or so ago. But the point to that is not to bury you with the details, but to explain that something someone told you a year ago might have been accurate that isn't accurate now. So just take note of that. Okay, so let's go back and explain the nut of the back end of it, which is this, the Microsoft Azure Rights Management Service, the RMS. Now you think, I don't know anything about Azure. I don't know. I don't want, it's too scary. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, you don't have to, don't worry about it. It's all automated, but that's where it's coming from. So um, really what you need to know as a person setting this up is that you need to have an E3 or an E5 or you need to pay for it. I believe it's $2 per user if you don't have an E3 or an E5. And I've heard other people say that they got it working on lesser levels as well. So I have the feeling that Microsoft is letting this go for a lot of companies. So if you aren't sure if you have it, give it a try and see if it works. And if it works, great. And by the way, all of the changes that we make are instant. So you don't have to wait an hour or a day. So give it a shot. And if it's not working for you, well, then you may have to go ahead and uh, license it from Microsoft. But uh, for most people, if you have an E3 or an E5, uh, which are most people that are gonna care about encryption, uh, it's just straight uh, straightforward. All right, so how do you turn it on? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Go to uh, portal.office.com and then into admin, or you can just go to admin.microsoft.com, whichever way you'd like to get to your admin portal. I like to use portal.office.com for everything, then I don't have to keep track of what the name of today's portals are. But anyway, uh, you do it however you'd like. Admin.microsoft.com is probably where most of us are gonna end up going. And then you can go straight to, of course you could just go straight to the Exchange portal <laughs> um, because we need to get to the Exchange portal. So again, expand uh, your admin centers, click on Exchange, and then go to Mailflow. And you'll see in here, I already have set up some encryption. So we are going to turn this I'm going to delete this and just recreate it. So, um, well, let's do it right now. So I will just go into here and I'll dump this rule. Yep, dump it. There we go. We have our uh, five rules. I'm going to add another one. I'll click down here and I'll select apply Office 365 message encryption or rights protection to messages. That sounds about right. Now, which ones? So I'm going to call this um, encrypt subject. So... You can do this any way you want, but auto, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the uh, message to encrypt if the subject includes any of the words I'm about to put in. So look, your staff, and we'll show you this in a minute, your staff can encrypt messages on the fly. Not a problem. The issue is they're not going to, right? They're just they're just not going to. You can You can tell them and you can explain it. You just click these three things and off it goes. They're not going to do it. So what you might be able to train them for though is some keywords. So I like to use the word encrypt, uh, press plus here. So that, what that's saying is if the word encrypt is in the subject line, then go through the, the action. And you're gonna guess correctly that the action is gonna be encrypted, which we'll do in just a moment. Uh, encrypt, I'm just gonna add some other words because people get this wrong and they add the uh, different words. Secure is a pretty common word. So if the word secure 
appears in the subject line or secured. Whoops. Apparently I can't type. There we go. So now if those, if any of those four words, notice the word or, appears uh, in the subject line, then what are we supposed to do? Well, we are supposed to encrypt. And which template should we use? And you'll see in a minute there's, I think there's four by default, and we're going to select the one that says encrypt, which is kind of common sense. Note that this does take a while sometimes, so this might take you 30 seconds. Yeah, there we go. Um, anyway, I'm just going to select encrypt. There we go. And that's what it's going to do. Now, the rest of the, the rest of these settings, we I leave as default, but you might want to change them. So if somebody has a severity rule, you could, you know, set it. Um, look, the rest of this is English. You can just read this as you go. There's nothing uh, really shocking here. So I'll just click save. So let's say we wanted to encrypt everything sent to the uh, firm's lawyer. So whether the staff want to or not, I don't care. So uh, we're going to encrypt it. So I'm going to select apply, create new rule, apply message encryption. And this one, I will call it encrypt uh, recipients two, but I've already got one called recipient, <laughs> uh, encrypt recipients. That's why I've got the number two in there. Uh, and I'm going to say if the recipient is this person and then, well, what person? Well, I'm going to put in, you know, my dot lawyer at, oh, let's say here, uh, lawfirm.com. How is that? <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, and I could just keep adding them. Uh, and again, same rule down here, right? Same stuff. I don't, nothing to change here other than do the following. Well, what would I like to do? I would like to encrypt. There we go. All right. So I'm going to cancel that because I actually don't want it. Uh, but you can see here that it's very straightforward. Now, uh, at this point, if I send an email, it will be encrypted. If I use the word encrypt, encrypted, secure, or secured in the subject line. So let's just show you a quick test of that. Here, I've gone into my, uh, my Outlook email and I haven't restarted it. I haven't done anything. It's just, it's all automatic because it's done at the back end. So I'll type into here and I'll put in a, a test email address uh, ABC contract, and I'll just add the word secure to the end. Um, so anywhere in the subject line, if I have the word secure, secured, encrypt or encrypted, it will, it'll encrypt it for me. So here I'll just put, uh, this is a test and I could make it, I could add attachments. I'm not going to just to make this faster. I'll click send. Then let's go off to my Yahoo accounts and see what we get. Here it is. Look, this is what the user got. Isn't that nice? It, geez, it's not the message. It says, read the message. Yes, that's because um, this is being sent to Yahoo or Gmail. If this is being sent to an Outlook client that was hosted by Office 365, which is going to be the vast majority of your customers, uh, hosted exchange is just ubiquitous in companies. So for the vast majority of people, they won't see this. They'll just get the message. There won't be any, they'll have no idea that the message was encrypted. However, it just is. However, uh, because uh, the message uh, was sent to Yahoo, uh, you end up with this read the message uh, prompt. And so, okay, what do I do? So I click read the message and uh, I, I can sign in with the Yahoo, with my Yahoo ID and then it will be transparent or my Gmail if I had, if this was a Gmail account, but I can also just sign in with a one-time passcode. So I don't have to do anything. And so what this says is, oh, we just emailed you a one-time passcode. Just put the code in and we'll prove it's you. So let's take a look. Yep, there it is. I'll just pop this code in, copy, paste that in. And uh, I could say that, you know, don't check me on this computer for another 12 hours uh, because I'm doing other demos for a client later today. I don't want to do that, but you probably would. So let's click continue. And there's the message. And if I had an attachment, it would be there as well. Now you'll notice that I could print this, of course, I could screenshot it, I can reply and I can forward. However, uh, there are ways, of course, to turn that off as well through rights management. As you saw, there was an option there to set, to set it to do not forward. There's also an option to set it there to, to encrypt and so on and so forth. So we're just showing you the encrypt, but it's exactly the same process for um, uh, do not forward. 
Okay, so I got my message. Don't care, I'm finished with it. I'm just gonna close it now. There we go. Congratulations, you have encryption done. Well, there's a couple of things you might wanna do, although you don't have to, they're just options. And those options relate to branding. So uh, let's just scroll through this message from Microsoft. Here we go. So they're saying, look, there's a branding template. Now you think, oh, boy, that looks complex. No, it's really, really simple. You don't have to change it. You can just walk away now and be done. But if you wanna put your company logo up there or something else, well, you know, uh, you can just follow, follow along. If you don't care, just wrap up the video now and call it a day. Okay, so I'm gonna assume you do wanna know how to set uh, specifically the back the, the image, uh, but it's the same process for the low, or sorry, for the, uh, the text and so on and so forth. So let's go through it. Uh, really, this is the key right here. So you have to connect it to your Exchange Online through PowerShell, which is a kind of pain that you can't do it through the uh, console or through the GUI, but basically, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you run this command, modifying only this field and whatever the name of the graphic is. So let's get to it. Now, I've built a graphic that is exactly 170 by 70. It does not have to be. That's simply saying what the optimal size is. It'll resize it if it's different than that. Uh, and it's under 40K. And I just built it using paint.net, a pretty standard little tool. Okay, so I've got my graphic already built and I cleverly put it into a uh, folder in my C drive called demo, so which is right here. So C demo, and you'll see email encrypted, and that's just all that is is my, here, I'll double click on it again, so you can see, that's my little graphic. Not very complex. Okay, now, uh, so how do you get that in? Okay, well, let's go do it. So what you wanna do is bring up a PowerShell. So I just right click on the start button, admin, or PowerShell admin, and uh, so there we go. Now we have a lovely PowerShell. Now, something to note is I've tested this in um, uh, PowerShell 7. It doesn't seem to function very well. So uh, I'm, in this case, I'm running PowerShell 5.1 and you can see it's working. Well, you can see it's 5.1, so that's that. Now, another thing I'm going to do to make my life a little simpler is instead of using the old commandlets, I'm going to use the new ones. And you think, oh, new ones, what's that? That's pretty straightforward. To use the new commandlets, they're just a lot easier to, to use than the old ones. Uh, that's the command right there. So install module exchange online required version 203, which is just the, the current version of, uh, of commandlets. Because that takes a minute, I'm not gonna take up your time with it. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm good to go. If you're really confused by it, uh, it's pretty straightforward again. We have this lovely little how to install it, which is get, the, <laughs> get PowerShell up, run the install, and be on your way. Um, okay, moving back Moving back to power. What you need to do is type get, not get, you wanna type connect to exchange. I just use tab complete for the rest of it, exchange online. And you can see these new commands are great and it will prompt for username and password. Now, of course, I'm not going to show you mine. So we're just going to skip by this as far as you're concerned. There we go. Now I've uh, completed uh, the username and password for my Office 365 account. And you can see it's adding the uh, connections right there. There we go. There's a little command called get OME configuration. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to see what our template is. You can have multiple templates, but uh, it comes with one by default. Uh, and it's my case. It's called, well, in everybody's case, the default is called OME space configuration. And you can see I already have an image URL in here. That's because I already did this, but we'll do it again just to show you. So the command you want to use to set this is uh, down here, and it is that command right there. So there we go, let's copy that, because I'm not going to type that out. Paste that in, and what you need to do is go fix your branding template name to OME well, configuration. I think I got a space at the end of that, so I might have to change that a bit. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't. Yay, good for me. And uh, the location. So the location, in my case, is demo and I you can call it whatever you want it doesn't make any difference at all I called mine however email encrypted and in my case I made it a JPEG um, you can use a PNG you can use any of the standard uh, formats and um, let's press enter and it will take a second it'll probably choke because I've already got it uh, but uh, basically it's done at this point and yeah, okay, so this comes up and I say yes to all. There we go, done, there we go. 
Yeah, no setting change because it was already there. Okay, so now when I send messages that are encrypted, like I did before, users will get this graphic, right? Which is the graphic that I built um, here. And it's just, uh, you know, so it's my company and then uh, email encrypted by Office 365. And uh, that's that. If you um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you know, feel free to get a hold of us uh, at www.urtech.ca. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.